Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Um, my salutations to those who are laboring in the vine in these last days. Okay, and to those who are sincerely seeking the truth and the few aquats who are sincerely seeking the truth. Peace and salutation. So, as we all know what's been going on, and, you know, one needs to really be spiritually, you know, spiritually dead, you know. Spiritually dead, not to understand what's going on and see that we are actually at the at the end, you know, of this kingdom. You know, one really needs to be mad, you know, a mad person not to understand that we are actually at the end of this of this kingdom. So as we can see, you know, Esau is doing everything, you know, ready to to do to do to play his last card, you know. And this is actually the most high walking in his left hand. So I would like to quickly read from the book of Amos chapter 9. We'll start from verse 9 which quotes, And lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Yasharala among all nations. Like as corn is sifted in a sift, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And if we go on reading, it says, All the sinners of my people shall die by sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So as we can see, the words of the Most High are so powerful that after generations, this incident already happened and it's about to happen again, you know. So this time around, this time around, we are going to be sifted, you know, when you have a sift. Um, when you have um, a lot of corn in a pan, you know, when you shake it, you know, then you have the scrambles. Let's quickly get the word sieve. sift. Let's, let's see the strongs, which is the strong H55128, which says noir, noir, okay. So if you read through, you can see um, shake. Okay, so this is actually what's going, going to happen. The Most High is going to shake, shake all of us, shake the house of Israel. And how is he going to shake the house of Israel? By this so-called jabs and microchip, okay, in which by his left hand, he used Esau to create all these things. So those who are going to fall off the sieve are those who are going to fall for this jab, take the jab, okay, because once you take the jab, we already know where it's going to attack. We already know it's going to sedate your God gene. And it's going to make you accept freely without second thought or two thoughts, you know. It's going to make you freely accept the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. Okay? So this is the sifting that is going to go on now. And most of Jake's, you know, they love this kingdom so much that they don't want to lose anything, you know. Most of them, they have their hearts set on the properties they already gained and saved all these years, you know. Most of them, they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to lose their careers. And this is what the sifting is going to be right now, you know. And the sinners, all the sinners of my people, of my people shall die by sword, which say the evil shall not overtake us, they take nor prevent us. And this is talking about the people that I just mentioned right now, you know, those who are firmly holding on their on their careers and all these stuffs. Because what's going to happen is, um, Esau is going to put the all the law out there. Out there, I think the laws already been made already. If not, they've been made already. You know, already here in Italy, they're already speaking about it. You know, they're already sending letters to different companies where we work. You know, so they are trying to implicate these jobs. One needs to take this job, okay, in order to carry on with your job, with your job. So you see, this is actually what those who 
who will be like, well, everyone is taking it, nothing is happening. You know, this, that's the people this verse is talking about, you know. They shall be overtaken by the sword, you know. And all of a sudden, you know, great pestilence, you know, it's going to come upon them. And these people can't even make it, they can't make it into the kingdom without going through fire and death, you know, and suffering. And this is what's about to come. This is the time we have to, you know, encourage our spirits, you know, put ourselves into this work of the most high, because it's not an easy time, you know. It's not going to make that much sense after all this while we've been in the truth, you know, then get to this point where Esau is going to make everything impossible. But if you don't take the job, you can't continue with your job. If you don't take the job, you can't you can't do certain certain things, you can you can't continue with your careers, you know. Many Jakes are gonna give up on this, you know. And this is where Esau is gonna get your asses, you know. Excuse my French. Anyway, um I'll go on reading from the book of um Matthew because you know it's not going to, it's not an easy time we're going to right now. This is a very difficult time and you know even the elect are going to be you know hardly saved. So this is the book of Matthew chapter 24. It's a famous chapter that we all know. I'm going to read and this the red letters are the words of Yahweh Shai. So I'm going to read from the verse 22, which quotes, And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And this is, this is actually Esau's plan, you know, to get all your asses, really. You know, Esau got everything played out. And he doesn't even know that he's been the left hand of the Most High, you know, carrying out this thing. And this is the great sifting of the house of Israel. You know, the so-called Jacob's trouble, time of Jacob's trouble, which is in the book of Jeremiah chapter 33, you know. So this is the time it's talking about, you know. So as we can see, the Most High actually needs to shorten those days because no flesh is going to be, it's not going to be left. You know, if it doesn't shorten these days, no flesh is going to be left, you know. So everyone, everyone, you know, majority of the people are going to take the job. And once you take the job, man, bye bye. You're no longer yourself. You're no longer, you no longer, you don't, you no longer have the spirit of the Most High Yahweh walking in you, you know. So you don't, you can't even get the spirit of truth. And this is actually going to lead also to the time of, um, you know, the famine of the world. That's in the book of Amos chapter 8, I think from verse 11, you know. When, when the Most High is going to cause a famine, you know, because everyone, most majority of the people are going to take the job, they're going to lose their minds, you know, when you talk to them about the truth, they come against you and, you know, and do all sorts of madness. So the Most High is going to take away that spirit, you know, because there will be no one you can just go out and teach anymore because everyone is just being a zombie, you know. So let's keep reading. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the anointed, or dear, believe it not. Okay? For there shall arise false Christ, false anointed, and false prophets shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Okay? And part of these signs, we already know. Okay? We already know that. You know, we have this different groups like the IUIC, like the ISUPK, you know. We have this fake or false prophets like um, Vocab Malone. These people are actually instruments on the left-hand side to deceive the mass, you know, to deceive the people. And many people are falling for it, you know. No cap. So we already know these false people already. They've already been around for a long time and they will keep being around for this uh, as long as this time is going on you know it's madness you have all these churches protestants you have the the mormons the jehovah wickedness and the rest of them you know these are all tools on the left hand side the false prophets you know but now i want you to see from a different point of view you know this is going to be the different point of view as you can see um i i saw many brothers this past few days they did videos on the first the first to take the job, okay, the first to take the job is so-called Eve, and we're not surprised about it, you know. 
So what they do is they use these people, you know, they had also a sample, you know, taking the jab, you know, all this in order to lure the hearts of the sons of Yasharala to take it, you know. So this is actually another point of view from Sene, okay. So this, this, these people are actually going to deceive the very elect because um, they'll say if you, don't, if you don't take it, you can't go back to your jobs. Some elect are going to give up at, at a certain time, you know, because they don't want to lose their jobs. They don't want to lose their careers or whatever, and they will give up. But if anyone that this happens to, it means that person is not part of the elect, okay, so to say. If you fall for this job and you take this job, then you're not part of the elect because this job actually is going to lead you to take in the mark of the beast, which is the microchip. Okay. So um, I'm going to, going to read from the book of um, Proverbs. No. Book of Proverbs 4. 13, which quotes, take fast, oh, take fast hold of instructions, let her not go, keep her, for she is thy life, okay, and what is this, this is, these are the instructions, the truth, the commandments of the most high, these are the instructions coming out from the mouth of his prophets, and who are his prophets, starting from the apostles of great millstone to the elders, these are the prophets of the Most High. The apostles of Great Millstone have been telling us about what's going to happen many years ago already, you know. I mean, saying all these things. I've seen some old videos, you know, where they were teaching on the streets and, you know, going into, into prophecies and all these things have been coming to pass, you know. So they've been, they've been telling us all these things, you know. We have to hold fast to these words, which are the truth. And that's now, you can't get this truth anywhere else. You know, a few Israelite groups are, are, are actually teaching this truth, but there are few, you know. But then, if you want to get the 100% truth, it's, it's found only in the Great Millstone, GMS. Okay, so the, 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 the apostles and elders, they've been teaching us all from this world that, you know, the mark of the beast is the, is, is the, is the microchip, you know. And now we're seeing everything just playing in our front, like over here in Italy. You know, I've been watching the news lately and what they're trying to do is, um, you know, they, they're coming up with different, different form ups. You know, if you know how Esau actually operates on the media, you know, they'll say we have the mafians, you know, the, 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 how do we put it? How do I put it? The looting money and all this stuff. You know, we need to look for a new system of finance and all these stuff. And all this, they're just doing all this to introduce the microchip, you know. So, let's hold fast on what we have, which is this truth, you know. Put into practice to the best of our abilities the commandments, the Most High Yahweh, what Yahweh Shah has given us, you know. Let's put into practice because this is the way that leads to life. And let's be sober. Let's be. Let's hold strong and not fall for the deceits of the devil. You know, you have, you have, you have the the Bible scripture. I can't remember where it is. I think it's in the book of um, um. I think, is it Romans or James? You know, that says, "Old strong what you have, if not, the Satan is going to take it away." You know. So let me close this lesson by reading from the book of, um, Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 6, which quotes, you know, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, okay, a time to rend and a time to sue, but I just want to keep hold on this, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. So this is actually just talking, you know, about there is time for everything, you know. If your job, they, they insist you take this job, if not, you can't continue. Man, it's the time to leave it. Let it go. 
if whatever career you pursuing in which you know a major career is you know the kingdom of the most high the new kingdom coming you know if they insist you take this job in order to continue if you don't take the job you can continue then it's time to let it go if your family someone is stressing you that you must take this job man it's time to let them go what shall it profit a man to get to gain the world and lose his soul you know he must definitely be a madman a, 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 a messed up person without brain you know without spirit without nothing you know there is nothing to be compared with this kingdom that is coming you know there is nothing to be compared with the crown we're going to receive from our lord and savior yahweh shai so sons of israel house of yasharala things are really going to get crazy you know things are really going to get crazy and we're praying hopefully the most high yahweh shem yahweh shai keeps us safe through this time provides our food for us provides everything we need through this time because those who are part of the elect are not going to fall for others you know whatever comes our way if whatever whatever happens you know whatever they tell us to do in order to make us take this job we are not going to do it and this is the spirit to have i hope you all was edified by this lesson and i'm going to stop here and i would like to give all praises to the most high yahweh ba hashem yahweh shai ba hashem rukah kodash my double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone for having taught me this truth. On to the next one. Shalom.